Hi guys, welcome to Electric Radiators Direct, the home of electric heating. Today we'll be delving into the world of electric radiators to help you choose your perfect heating solution for your space. Before we get into it, be sure to give this video a like, hit that subscribe button and tap the notification bell for more electric heating content. When it comes to any big purchase, weighing up your options is a fundamental part of the process, and it's no different for electric radiators. With so many variations available, you might find yourself spoilt for choice. To help guide you, we're going to explore the different sizes, styles, and types of radiators available. So let's get started. First, let's look at the different types of electric radiators, and they can be separated into three categories, thermal fluid, dry thermal, and dry stone. Each one has its own distinctive features, so let's break this down. Thermal fluid radiators, also known as oil-filled radiators, can usually be identified by their unique column design. Pre-filled with thermal fluid, these appliances take a little longer to reach your set temperature, but are also slow to cool, providing lasting warmth. As they heat up, you may notice a few cold spots, but eventually you'll end up with an even spread of warmth across the radiator. Completely versatile, they can be used in most interiors, including bathrooms. Dry thermal radiators or oil-free radiators are the exact opposite. These heaters use lightweight and dry heating elements such as aluminium to supply highly responsive heating. They're much easier to install and quicker to reach your ideal temperature. Perfect for on-demand heating. Finally, we have dry stone electric radiators, which are more commonly known as ceramic radiators. These appliances use ceramic stone to retain heat, ensuring longer lasting warmth. They're quick to heat and slow to cool, so you get the best of both worlds. Providing more radiant warmth than your average electric radiator, they're great for larger or harder to heat spaces, such as lofty interiors. By knowing the difference in heating technology, you can really narrow down your choices. But that's not to say you should limit yourself though. The great thing about electric heating is that because it isn't part of a connected, centralized system, you can mix and match to your heart's content. Now that we know about the different types of radiators, let's look at some of the other aspects you'll need to consider. When it comes to electric radiators, size matters. Too small and you risk underheating your space, which isn't ideal. Not to worry, we've got you covered. Choosing the right size is relative to the space you're trying to heat. The good thing is electric radiators come with their own wattages and heats up to areas. This makes the choice much easier for you. All you need are your room measurements. For example, for mid-sized rooms, you might want something like the 1000 watt IQ ceramic a radiator capable of heating areas of up to 11 meters squared. If you measure your room and you find yourself stuck between two sizes, it's always best to go for the option with the higher wattage for better efficiency. Now, if you're not one for crunching numbers, there is an alternative. The Electric Radiators Direct wattage calculator does all the work for you. Just click the link in the description and simply answer a couple of quick questions about your room size and insulation. Then the calculator will direct you to the most suitable options available. Next on the agenda, we have horizontal versus vertical models. Which orientation is right for you? With only two options, this choice is much easier. Horizontal radiators have that classic look and often come in more sizes for greater variety. They're usually compatible with DIY installation and can be used freestanding as well as wall mounted. If you want to make more of a statement, a vertical electric radiator is your best friend. They break from tradition, offering something a little more contemporary. They're also ideal for tall, narrow walls where space comes at a premium. So assess your space and think about practicality as well as design. And if you're looking for multiple electric radiators, don't be afraid to mix and match. No two rooms are the same after all. Next up, we've got style. And this choice is the simplest one of all because it's entirely up to your personal preference. For a touch of modern flair, designer electric radiators combine contemporary styling with cutting edge control. These oil-filled radiators offer everything from anthracite to white color finishes, so there's something to match every interior design scheme. If you prioritize traditional aesthetics and high-quality engineering, then look no further than German electric radiators. 
Reminiscent of that classic radiator design, these appliances are great for properties with some old style charm. Plus, they use ceramic stone to keep you warm, giving you efficient and lasting heat. Of course, there are other design options available. The RC Wave, a dry thermal electric radiator, gets its name from its distinct wave-like appearance. And conservatory radiators are shorter in height to fit dwarf walls perfectly. The IQ Ceramic combines modern styling with cutting edge control, the perfect addition to a range of spaces. There are zero limitations here, which is why style is the easiest choice to make. The great thing about electric radiators is that no matter what design you choose, you can still benefit from sophisticated control. This can include 24-7 programming, Wi-Fi control, and voice control. Other features such as open window detection, adaptive start, and highly precise digital thermostats come as standard with our electric radiators. Look out for Triac thermostats in particular, as they promise completely silent operation, as well as accurate temperature control. So now you know the basics, it's time to start browsing the range at electricradiatorsdirect.co.uk. We'd love to hear which type of electric radiator you find yourself drawn to, so be sure to let us know in the comments. For more electric heating content, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and we'll see you next time. Thank you.